In order to do Uber Black, you have to have a car that qualifies for Uber Black. In this video, I would like to go deep into this topic and explain what kind of cars qualify for Uber Black, what kind of cars qualify for Uber Black SUV, and what is the overall best car for Uber Black slash Uber Black SUV and how much they should cost. Let's get started. So this is official Uber website where you can put your CD here and go in deep into all these cars uh, make and models and see which one qualifies for what. In my case, I live and work in Los Angeles, California. There are actually five car makes and uh, models that qualify for Uber Black SUV. Let's cover them first. The first one is Chevy Chevrolet Suburban. The second one is GMC Yukon XL. The third one is Ford Expedition Max. The fourth one is Lincoln Navigator. And the fifth one is Escalade, Cadillac Escalade. And uh, let me show a few things about GMC first. We go here to GMC and we see Yukon XL Denali qualifies for black, black SUV, SUV hourly and black hourly. So basic for everything. And Yukon XL also qualifies for all of that. Regular Yukon Denali qualifies for black, black SUV for everything, but Yukon itself does not qualify for SUV. So you have to keep in mind that if you are buying, for example, GMC Yukon, buy Yukon Denali or Yukon XL. In my, in my opinion, it doesn't worth it to buy Denali. Because first of all, uh, well, the Denali is the top notch for GMC. And it is amazing to have a car that is the top tier of specific make. But in my opinion, Denali is not the best fit for Uber Black. First of all, it takes premium. And also, uh, Denali, they have 6.2 liter engines that uh, take a lot more than a regular 5.3 liter that Suburban and uh, regular Yukon has. But those cars that come out in 2021 and up, those cars, uh, are even with Chevrolet Suburban, they all take premium gas. So premium gas is obviously costs more, usually $1 more per gallon. And you have to understand that you pay more if you choose it. Personally, for me, I wouldn't choose Denali because it has a bigger engine, it has, uh, it, it takes premium gasoline, even for those cars that are 2018 and 19 and 20, and you, obviously you pay more. But for, I know that Denali is a little bit more powerful, but believe me when I say it, regular Suburban, regular Yukon XL that have 5.3 liter uh, engines, they are, their power is, is more than enough. You won't need all, the, all that power. Even uh, in Los Angeles, uh, there are traffic in, in every corner, so you cannot uh, utilize all that power. So I wouldn't choose Denali just for myself. Maybe just uh, information for you to think again if you are planning on Denali. And we come here at the autotrader.com to see approximately how much they cost. So I put minimum year of 2018 up to 2020 because newer models, when they change the design 2021, 2022 and, and up, they're all over $60,000. In my opinion, if you are just starting out, I wouldn't put all, all that money into the car because with, with the newer car, you pay uh, more in uh, insurance and also you, your monthly payment is a lot more, stuff like that. And here is the one, 2019 Yukon XL SLT, $41,000. This is a good price in my opinion for 2019. And SLE, we will not cover, it will, will not be good for Uber Black because it doesn't have um, leather seats. And for some reason, everything else 
is Denali. The, the other car that I wanted to cover is actually Chevy Suburban. We go to Chevrolet and uh, Suburban right over here qualifies for everything. Do not make a mistake and buy Tahoe because Tahoe does not qualify for Uber Black SUV. As you guys can see, only black, black hourly. So Tahoe is smaller and shorter than Suburban. Suburban is the big brother of Tahoe and only Suburban qualifies for uh, Uber Black SUV. And we come here and look. So 2018 for $36,000. That's uh, all right price, and uh, even 2018 uh, Suburban Premier, 37,000, but it has 107,000 miles on it. 2018, 37, and uh, it goes on and on. 2019 Suburban LT is 46. It's pretty pretty high. So in my opinion. A car SUV that is 2020 that costs under fifty thousand dollars is a good price for 2019. I would say around forty thousand uh, dollars, but for 2018, if it is lower than thirty-five thousand dollars, in my opinion, that's a good that's a good price. But just my opinion. And the other car that is not too expensive is Ford. Actually, Ford Expedition. Right here, Expedition. 2018 and new words they qualify for black black SUV and uh, almost everything and when you go to Ford uh, Expedition as you can see that it is not that expensive for 2020 used $53,000 2018 platinum 57 obviously not it doesn't make any sense 2019 $51,000 2020 $56,000 so you can find Ford Expedition 2020 approximately between 55 to $57,000 which is a little bit higher price but I heard that a lot of people who drive who drive for Uber Black they uh, kind of told me that don't get for expedition because many people canceled but I've seen more and more for expeditions for expedition max out on the road there are many people who are buying them because they are pretty good cars the only downside is their trunk is not as big as suburban or you can excel has it is a little bit shorter because the third row is uh, a little bit bigger that's the only downside for Ford Expedition. Other like uh, Lincoln Navigator and the S Class, they are too expensive. I've not covered them. If you have money to buy them, and if you really want to buy them, I obviously go and buy them. So the, for people who are starting, there are actually two car making brands that make sense: is Suburban and You Can Excel. And if you want to go a little bit higher, is Ford Expedition. And they, then if you want to go higher is Lincoln Navigator than s -Clad. because the difference between Suburban and s -Clad is approximately $20,000. I wouldn't pay for, for it. So I think that we covered SUVs and then the, let's go into sedans. For sedans is uh, quite interesting and with cheapest uh, option in my opinion is Cadillac X XTS. So this is how they look like. And you can find them actually from 2018 and 19 because they don't, after 2019, they don't produce them anymore. 2018, you can find $27,000 and, uh, and up 28. And uh, unfortunately, Auto Trader doesn't have anything for 2019 but they would cost approximately 30,000, maybe a little bit more for, for a sedan. And the other good variant is BMW 5 Series. I really love them. And I think that uh, BMW 530e, which is a uh, plug-in hybrid, is pretty good option. And uh, before driving for SUV, I really 
thought that I might buy BMW 5 Series uh, 530e, especially hybrid, because they uh, you spend a little bit less on gas and also BMW is BMW, and they also cost uh, under thirty thousand dollars for 2018, and if you find 2019 like forty thousand dollars and if you shop around or oh, right here uh, 2019 cost thirty two thousand dollars and if you shop around and uh, you keep looking you can find a good price and uh, in my opinion right here is end of five series thirty three thousand dollars for 2019 not a bad idea uh 2019 m sport package for thirty four thousand dollars <laughs> That's a really good, really good price in my humble opinion. And the other sedan that you can look if, uh, except if you don't want Cadillac XCS, BMW 5 Series, then the next step will be Lexus. Lexus is, is a good car, uh, car make, right? And uh, especially for GS models. You can also find them between 35 to 40k and especially here a used 2020 GS 350 for $55,000 it obviously costs a lot a lot more than anything else but you can uh, if you shop around you can find Lexus and Lexus is Lexus and the expensive option for Lexus is less obviously less costs a lot more and uh, the one thing I wanted to, to point out here, which was pretty interesting when I look, looked it up. So we go to Lexus all the way down and GS hybrid variant qualifies only for comfort. So if you are planning to get GS, not get a hybrid, it looks like for some weird reason, it doesn't qualify for over black. So I think that this is everything that I wanted to cover. If you guys have any questions, please leave in the comments below. Also, if you have any uh, opinion or any experience that you had in the past, or maybe you wanted to add something into this video, please also consider leaving in the comments below so that it helps me and other people who are looking for the best car for Uber Black to buy with the best, uh, for the best price, where they could learn. And that's it guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to watch a video that YouTube thinks the best for you, click right here. Or if you want to check, uh, check out Uber Black earning playlist and all the Uber Black videos, click right here. And see you in the next video guys, bye.